Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyron. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game FTL Multiverse working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So FTL is a game that can run on macOS. However, the mod Multiverse doesn't have a macOS version at the moment. So therefore the best way to run this is going to be through a virtual machine software called Parallels. And today we are using Parallels Desktop 18. And this tutorial is going to show you how to install Parallels and also how to get FTL running and to get the Multiverse mod running on it as well. And the performance of this is going to be okay it's not going to be the best this is despite the fact that this is quite a lightweight 2012 game the mod itself uses some pretty heavy assets we also have to run the game in OpenGL, so this is going to affect performance however it does make the mod playable i'm going to be referring to this thread here by user near 129 who also helped to get this working on parallels i'll leave a link to this in the description in case any other information comes up about how to get this to run better so if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So next we're going to download and install Parallels which is the virtual machine software we're going to be using in order to run Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So what I do recommend that you do is to click the link at the top of the description. This is going to take you to the Parallels download page. If you make a purchase after clicking this link then you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked the link, what you can do is try the software out for free for 14 days. If you do decide to buy now and click new license, what you can do is go ahead and select the Pro Edition and then click buy now. And if you click this enter a coupon code button here, and then you type in the code AppleWiki10 and click apply, then you're going to receive a 10% discount. So here I'm going to use the free trial and I'm gonna click the download now button here. And then we're gonna press okay. And then the software has downloaded. So now I'm going to navigate to my finder and then go to my downloads folder. And then I can see here my Windows 11 ARM is still downloading. However, I'm going to go ahead and install parallelsdesktop.dmg. So here we're going to double click on the installer. And now we're going to double click on install parallels desktop. Here we'll press open and we're just going to let this finish downloading. So now we're going to enter our password and press OK. So once Parallels is installed, what we're going to do is to double click on Parallels Desktop and then we're going to be met with this installation wizard. So here we're going to press continue. And now what we're going to do is to select the option on the left which says get Windows 11 from Microsoft. So this is actually a new option which allows us to directly download Windows 11 without having to register with the Windows Insider program. So we're going to press install Windows and it's going to go ahead and download and install Windows 11 ARM directly from the Microsoft service. And now we're going to let Parallels create that virtual machine for us. So now Windows 11 an arm is being installed and this is going through the setup process. And that's going through the setup process, we just have to wait for this to complete. So now that installation is complete, we're going to press the continue button here and Windows 11 has automatically maximized itself. You can see here that Windows, you can see here that there are various updates that are already being installed. So we're going to minimize this and we're going to close this browser window. So one of the main things to do when you first start is obviously let the updates all complete. A handy tip as well is to right click on the desktop here and then click display settings. And here we're going to configure the display resolution. So scaling is something that I always change to 100%. This is because sometimes games will crash if they're run at a higher display scale. So now we're going to to install Steam. So I'm going to click on the Microsoft Edge icon here and then we're going to type in the web address steampower.com and then we're going to click this button on the top right called install Steam and then we're going to be downloading and installing the Windows version of Steam so that we can play it on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So once that's downloaded we're going to press open file, press the yes button here and now we're going to go through the Steam setup process. So here we're going to press next, select English, select install here and let Steam install. Now we're going to finish and press run Steam. So now we're just going to let Steam update so if you don't have a Steam account, you can go ahead and create a new account for free. However, I'm going to log into my existing account now. So once we have Steam installed, what we're going to do is to download FTL. So I'm going to do a search in the library for FTL and we're going to go ahead and download and install this. So I'm going to install it on this computer, press the install button and then download it onto our local computer in this default location and just let that download. So next thing that we're going to need to do is to go to the subset games forum thread which I'm going to leave a link to in the description which contains the multiverse installer. So if we scroll a little bit down the first post you're going to find a link to the installer here. So this says download installer 5.3 order and chaos. What we're going to need to do is to go to this google drive link which is going to contain the latest version of the mod. So I'm going to click on this link and then we're going to go to the top right and then click download and press download anyway. And that's gonna download this 659 megabyte mod. So once that download's complete, Microsoft Edge might ask you whether you actually wanna keep this. We're gonna press keep button here. Here we're gonna press show more and press keep anyway. And then we're gonna to go to file explorer and then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder and then we'll double click on multiverses to start the installer. 
So here we're going to press yes. We're sure we want to start this installer. Here's asking us to download Java. We're going to press yes, accept all, and then we'll download the latest version of Java. Then we'll go back into File Explorer, go to Downloads, and then install Java. Press yes, press install. Once that's complete, we're going to press close. Then we're going to continue with the Multiverse installer. So here we're going to click next on the installer and it should detect where FTL is installed. This is going to go into the default location on Steam. Press next. So it's recommend that you only install the core mod if you're running this for the first time. So I'm just going to install the core mod here. Press next and then next. Create a desktop shortcut and then press install. So if you do try and run the game just as is, it's going to hang on this loading menu here. So what we have to do is to go into the shortcut, go to properties. In the target section here, we're going to type space dash direct X and then press OK, let's continue. So in order for FTL to launch correctly, what we're gonna do is go into our C drive and go into the Steam Apps folder. So double click on that, and then go into Steam Apps and Common, and then we're gonna find our FTL folder, then we're gonna to go to Mods. So what we're gonna do is to right click on the multiverse, and then we're gonna extract all into a folder. So once we have this folder, what we're gonna do is to go to the image folder here, and then we're gonna take the first four of these star folders here. So stars underscore, we're going to cut and then paste them onto the desktop and keep them as a sort of backup. And then what we're gonna do is to basically rename the original zip file, call this one original. And then we're basically going to right click on here and then compress this to zip file. So it goes back into a mod friendly format. So once this is complete, we should have a new Multiverse 5.3, which is almost the same size as before. This is at about 80 megabytes of files removed from it. And now we're gonna move on to the next step. So on the desktop shortcut here, we're gonna right click and then go to properties. And then within the target section here, we're gonna scroll all the way to the right, then press space dash open GL and press OK, continue. And now this game is gonna load with some of these assets removed from here, and it's also gonna open it in open GL. So the game has now loaded up, I'm gonna select my language and it's all working correctly. I can press new game here and I can start a new game and then I can pretty much play as normal. So here we're gonna full screen. Here under options, we can press full screen and now we have a full screen game. So the frame rate isn't amazing, but it is kind of playable. So here we're gonna go ahead and just show you how it works. Jump again, just see what the combat's like. So I'm gonna show you that combat is working. Take on this boarding party. Here we're gonna fire our lasers. So this is all working. You can kind of see that the frame rate's not really that fast. You can see that the character's moving a little bit slower than normal, but it all seems to be working correctly. So now this is how you get the FTL mod multiverses working on Apple Silicon Macs using the Virtual Machine Software Parallels. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So anyway, this is how you get the mod FTL multiverse working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using the Parallels Virtual Machine Software. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.